हेलो एवरी वन आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रॉम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन दिस इज पार्ट वन एज पर सम ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स रिक्वेस्टेड टू मेक वीडियो ऑन सम क्वेश्चन Uh, they have given some questions and i made some answers and made pdf and uh, sent you in the whatsapp also and uh, preparing this uh, question and answer session also okay so welcome to the q and a session part 1 in this part 1 q and a session i am going to discuss about contents involved in prospectus so before discussing about the contents let us discuss about the prospectus the meaning of prospectus goes like this a prospectus is a formal document that is required by and filed with the securities and exchange commission sec that provides details about an investment offering to the public a prospectus is filed for offering of stocks bonds and mutual funds what do you understand with this meaning as the name prospectus means a document like advertisement copy uh you might be seeing in a newspaper or magazine which advertise about uh, the company's products or services these prospectus also like advertisement copy uh, advertise uh, describe about the company's uh, balance sheet p&l account directors uh, uh, managers share capital etc and etc and again don't write prospectus equals to advertising copy i just resembled prospectus to advertising copy like this a document okay issued to the prospective shareholder that's why it is called prospectus what do you mean by prospective shareholder of the company future becoming a, a shareholder of a company hone wala shareholder aane wala din mein hone wala shareholder i think you understood prospectus are issued to the future shareholders of the company so what it means it's a formal document that is required by and filed with the security exchange commission in india it is called sebi security board uh, security exchange board of india that provides details about an investment offering to the public the general public like you and me who are interested to subscribe in the company who are willing to invest in the company and they want to know everything about the company a document what is company what the company is doing which products they are producing is it in a product segment or service segment everything they want to know after knowing if they want to invest they will invest in the company like for example if you want to buy a mobile don't you go through the specification of that mobile don't you see the front camera back camera led lcd uh, so on so i don't know everything about it don't you think about uh, mobile all uh, specifications you read about the specification you ask about the specification if you like then only you buy or else no because you are spending huge amount on mobile 20000 30000 50000 i don't know uh, how costly mobiles you might be using but Uh, in the same way uh, future prospective shareholders also want to know everything about the company in the document which is called prospectus this is the meaning of prospectus and i discussed about this meaning of prospectus in class by showing you two companies prospectus can you remember my dear students can you remember if you can remember comment in the comment section below i would really be happy if you can remember and post comment which 
companies two companies prospectors i showed you in the class and explained about prospectors in detail okay if you can comment below and like my video i will be very happy now i think you understood about the meaning of prospectors now let us understand the contents of prospectors these are the contents involved in prospectors the various contents involved in prospectors are broadly classified into two parts according to the section 56 of company law 2013 act these are the two uh, parts under which the contents of prospectors are classified in schedule 2 what is schedule 2 it is uh, the uh, uh, schedule under which the two parts of components are classified under section 5 of companies law 2013 simple it's very easy now let us understand the first part in the first part of schedule 2 all the matters to be specified in the prospectus are discussed like the first one the contents of memorandum i think you may aware about memorandum of association and articles of association it's very easy memorandum of association or articles of association are like constitutions of company it mention the rules and regulations of the company the general uh, guidelines to run a company in short it is called the corporate governance memorandum of association gives the relationship between the promoters of the company and shareholders of the company so what contents uh, should be written in the memor of, uh, memorandum of association will be clearly mentioned in the prospectus so that the shareholders will clearly understand the memorandum of association the different contents the different contents of memorandum of association anyhow i am not going in deep about memorandum of association in brief these are the contents of memorandum of association which are uh, specified in prospectus coming to the second one the qualification of shares of directors what do you mean by qualifications of shares of directors based on the qualification of directors the proportion of shares are allotted in the company for example i am md managing director of the company i will be given nine percent of shares from the company if I am CEO, then my qualification is increased, is it not? For example, if I did BBA, my qualification is less. If I also have done MBA, my qualification is increased. In that way, from MD, if I have become CEO, my qualification has increased. Based on my qualification, company will allot me more proportion of shares this particular information will be mentioned in prospectus like the qualification of shares md how many shares will be allotted ceo how many shares will be allotted likewise i hope you understand and the third one number of redeemable preference shares how many number of uh, redeemable preference shares are there in my company will be mentioned in prospectus number of redeemable preference shares before explaining about uh, the number of preference shares or uh, redeemable preference shares you should know about uh, redeemable preference shares and non redeemable preference shares there are two types of shares one is equity shares another one is uh, preference shares preference shares preference shareholders have preferential rights over equity shares shareholders preference shareholders will get dividend equity shareholders will get dividend or will not get dividend there is no compulsion to pay dividend to equity shareholders anyhow but there are two types of uh, preference shares one is redeemable preference shares another one is irredeemable or non-redeemable preference shares 
what do you mean by re uh, redeemable preference shares are non redeemable preference shares redeemable preference shares are those where the company allot the preference shares to the future prospective shareholders and after the specified time period will buy back these preference shares from these shareholders this is called redeemable preference shares where in case of non redeemable preference shares after allotting the preference shares to the shareholders the company will never buy back these preference shares once the preference shares are allotted to the shareholders will not be bought back by the company from these shareholders are called non redeemable or irredeemable preference shares for example i am there my name is pavan okay and i got some shares from xyz company these are preference shares after 5 years for example after 5 years the term period of these preference shares are expired and the company will buy back my preference shares if it is redeemable preference shares or else if it is irredeemable preference shares the preference shares what i have what i am holding company cannot buy back okay these are permanently with us my with me or with you these are irredeemable preference shares i hope you understand coming to the point number of redeemable preference shares first and foremost in the prospectus the company should mention whether it has any preference shares or no yes if the company has preference shares it has to mention yes or else no it has to mention yes a company has preference shares then it has to mention how many preference shares are there how many equity shares are there if preference shares are there yes it has mentioned yes then are these preference shares redeemable preference shares or irredeemable preference shares it should give the clarity so that the prospective shareholders will clearly know about the company whether the company has preference shares if so is it a redeemable preference shares or irredeemable preference shares i hope you understand these three points let us go to the fourth one remuneration of directors and promoters obviously the directors are promoters who are the main pillars of the company no doubt they are the promoters directors of the company also receive they are they also receive a remuneration they also work for the salary for their own company so how much each director and promoter get the remuneration will be fixed and should be mentioned in the prospectus then next point the names descriptions and addresses of the directors and managing directors should be clearly mentioned in the prospectus okay how many directors are there i am one of the director of my company along with me how many are there and their descriptions their qualifications their nationality and where do they stay whether they stay in india or australia germany italy their address everything should be clearly mentioned in the prospectus so that it will have complete clarity without doubt investors will invest in your company or else if you don't mention the names their nationality their description anything then obviously your prospect to customers doubt and fear to invest in your company might be any of the director or managing director may be terrorist or enemy from pakistan they may fear doubt so this information is very much required need to be mentioned in prospectus the next next point the minimum subscription minimum subscription for example i have 100 crores which is called authorized capital which is called authorized capital but no company will issue 100 crores at a time most of the companies will not issue 100 crores which is authorized capital at a time they issue in phased manner for example out of 100 crores 
if they issue 50 crores this is called issued capital this is called issued capital okay minimum subscription should be at least 25 crores if i got 25 crores subscribed from the general public then only i am eligible to start my company this is called minimum subscription under this minimum subscription the details regarding the allotment application everything will be clearly mentioned what do you mean by this for example if any company has gone for ipo process ipo or fpo i explained the difference between ipo and fpo if you can remember you can mention in the comment section i will be happy to see your comments and likes okay by liking and commenting in the section i will be happy to recognize uh, um, my efforts okay you recognized my efforts i'll be very happy anyhow uh, so when they issue for ipo or fpo the minimum should be 25 crores should be subscribed from the general public then only i can start my company and there will be the application application sent along with prospectus to brokers from brokers investors will go and take fill the application and send there will be application fee like how you take the application from college fill the application form along with the photo and uh, give fees and join in our college in the same way if you want to subscribe to a company then application will be given by the company you have to fill the application along with fee and send how much should be the application fee and once you are allotted with some shares how many shares should be allotted in the first phase in the second phase in the third phase likewise these are called calls first call second call likewise i think you understood okay then going to the next one time of opening the issue will have a stipulated time period it is not unending for example if my company for example just think uh, pavan and company limited has issued a share capital in the general public through ipo because it is a new company for the first time issuing a rising capital from the general public it is called ipo on 1st september september 2020 this is the issue date and this issue date will be till this issue date will be till 10th 10th september 2020 so how many days are there from now 10 days time of opening is 10 days you can subscribe to my company in 10 days this is called a time of opening of my issue coming to the next one underwriting commission brokerage etc what do you mean by underwriting i explained you underwriting n number of times in class if you can remember you can write yes sir i can remember this is called underwriting in comment section and like my video i will be very happy to see your response of my video but anyhow uh, i will explain you about underwriting once again you comment in the comment section or uh, uh, reply me in uh, google classroom i'll be very happy to see your response i will explain you about underwriting once again as i explained here authorized capital uh, all my dear students listen carefully authorized capital is 100 crores i issued uh, issued capital is 50 crores minimum subscription is 25 and 50 crores i have issued 50 crores but i got 45 crores the subscribed capital actually the, this is called paid up capital this is called paid up capital this is authorized capital this is issued capital this is called paid up capital this is also called called up capital also called up capital also 50 crore or issued capital out of 50 crores minimum subscription is 25 anyhow i got 45 crores from the general public this is called 
paid up capital remaining 5 crores are deficit i cannot start my company what about this 5 crores who will give me this 5 crores now there are merchant bankers there are merchant bankers so who will give me the assurance to me before the issue of ipo in case if there is under subscription this is called under subscription if i issued 50 crores and i got 55 crores this is over subscription there is no problem in this case i will uh, give back 5 crores give back 5 crores to the general public but the problem will come in case only with uh, under subscription under subscription in this case merchant bankers will give me uh, the assurance of uh, giving me these 5 crores to me this is called underwriting this is called underwriting and they are not giving me any social service they will charge commission or brokerage charge this is called underwriting and underwriting commission brokerage which will be mentioned clearly in the prospectus each and every detail will be mentioned clearly in the prospectus next names of auditors with their address who are the auditors of my company who audit my company reports are they um, uh, any experts like financial institutions kotak mahindra bank or sbi icici bank uh, standard chartered bank uh, or uh, foreign banks so these auditors uh, names okay our uh, institute names uh, with address should be clearly mentioned in the prospectus so that the, the prospective shareholders will uh, come forward to invest in my company because there are uh, dependable auditors uh, efficient auditors who will audit my company uh, reports and uh, mention the company results whether it is profit or loss uh, clearly there is no manipulation in my company so pro- prospective customers will come forward to invest in my company without fear if i mention auditors the next particular of contracts what do you mean by particular of contracts contracts as a company i have to enter with contracts with so many persons okay so many contracts will be there for example uh, i should buy a land where should i buy a land in india or outside india in india in karnataka andhra pradesh south india north india where should i bind buy land and uh, how many acres of uh, land i should buy do you know ramoji film city in uh, hyderabad in the year 1999 ramoji rao has uh, started that ramoji film city which has occupied in the 1666 acres of land he has bought 1666 acres i think almost ballari he has bought outskirts of hyderabad so likewise if um, my company pavan and company pavan and company uh, if i situate uh, my company in karnataka how many acres of land i want where exactly i want balare outskirts or bangalore outskirts where exactly okay and uh, i should construct a factory i should buy machinery i should uh, employ uh, uh, workers so many contracts i have to enter with and all the details of the uh, contract the particulars will be detailedly mentioned in the prospectus the next preliminary expenses before raising the capital have i made any expenses should be clearly mentioned in the prospectus particulars of directors i should mention the names particulars of directors okay uh, for example i am uh, one of the director Uh, my qualification and uh, along with me there are three more uh, directors uh, in my company uh, revant uh, for example uh, okay lakshmi okay uh, whatever x y z likewise i should mention all the directors promoters name their nationality everything i should mention so that the uh, prospective uh, shareholders will come forward to invest in my company without any fear then disclosure if in, if there are any other disclosure should be clearly mentioned in the prospectus 
then next uh, expected rate of dividend and voting rights uh, how, how much dividend i am going to uh, give to my shareholders and uh, uh, what is the voting rights uh, i should mention clearly in the prospectus there is no rule to issue dividends to shareholders if the company wants not to declare any dividends it will not declare the dividends if they want to de uh, declare the dividends then uh, how much the company is going to give is it 2% is it 3% or 4% they have to clearly mention it this uh, dividend will be this the dividend percentage will be multiplied will be multiplied with face value of the company you will get the amount you will get the amount clear amount this is called dividend policy dividend is a ocean dividend policy is a ocean there are so many theor theories involved in dividend policy uh, you already read dividend policy in financial management might be you might be forgot anyhow uh, but i'm not going to uh, i'm not going in deep to discuss dividend and then next voting rights voting rights each shareholders have some voting rights if there is any shareholding meeting if you have any shares then you will be called to a shareholding meeting then you have to elect a board of director managing director or any director you have to elect by giving your precious vote so uh, how many voting rights you have everything will be clearly mentioned in the prospectus the next one is uh, capitalization of profits and surplus from revaluation of assets as i said there is no rule to declare dividend if the company has decided not to declare any dividend then it will pluff back the dividend and capitalize the profits and surplus from revaluation of assets if any company wants to grow in the future expand and diversify then normally such kind of companies will not give dividends they will capitalize the uh, profits uh, and grow by diversifying and expanding i think you might be knowing the dividends are issued from profits only right then if the company has profits then only they will declare the dividend and if they want to grow and expand they will not give the dividend that's all and next inspection of balance sheet profit and loss account so um, companies will uh, inspect their balance sheet and profit and loss account from uh, the auditors there is no rule that uh, the company will uh, audit their balance sheets and profit and loss accounts so, unaudited uh, company reports also will be issued but majority of the shareholders rely upon the auditing and they want audited uh, financial statements so majority of the companies audit their balance sheets and profit and loss accounts my dear student friends these are the contents and uh, coming to the part 2 in the part 1 we have undergone uh, we have gone through all this points and coming to the part two of schedule two as i said in the part two of schedule two here the companies will specify its reports these are the reports which are enclosed along with the prospectus for example my dear student friends if you give me a letter leave letter uh, sick letter especially with medical uh, or health issues then what you normally do along with the le uh, leave letter you attach a doctor report along with your leave letter in the same way uh, companies also attach uh, the reports company reports audited financial statements along with the, the prospectus then only it will have good weightage like how you have attached medical report to your uh, sick leave letter it will have more weightage if the company attach the uh, financial reports along with their prospectus it will add more weightage so what reports 
report by the auditor report by the auditor an audit report of the company relating to the uh, profits its profits and losses assets liabilities all this these are audited by expert auditor and mention uh, the profits or release the profits and loss assets liabilities in the general public okay uh, if there is a profit it has to issue the profits uh, uh, to the general public if there are losses it has to show the losses to the general public the uh, company should not manipulate anything anyhow uh, at present covid 19 situation the uh, general public are expected loss to be posted by majority of the company as per their expectation majority of the companies posted losses in their results quarterly results especially uh, those companies which are related to movie uh, the graphic designing especially pvr company i think you might be knowing pvr company has posted losses you should be genuine and uh, post profits or losses these are the audited financial statements you should show to the general public and uh, the dividends how, how much of dividends uh, you have paid okay everything should be clearly uh, mentioned in the reports okay and uh, not only the auditors even the company accountants also report uh, uh and attach these reports to the prospectus accountants are different auditors are different auditors do auditing a special course accountants are not that expertise than compared to auditors apart from auditors even the company accountants also prepare their reports but uh, those reports which are prepared only by accountants of the company is not much relayed uh, the public will uh, relay upon auditors much than compared to accountants and coming to misstatements in prospectus no companies will misrepresent the profits or losses they will clearly mention the profits and losses as it is if there is profit they have to uh, show profit if there is loss they will show loss if there is any misrepresentation or misstatements in prospectus then it is eligible for civil liability or criminal liability way back 12 years in the year 2008 satyam computers has satyam computers now it has become uh, uh, tech mahindra uh, tech mahindra or tech satyam satyam uh, computers has manipulated 4000 crores 4000 crores uh, uh, as a misrepresentation ramalinga raju has manipulated ramalinga raju ramalinga raju has uh, manipulated 4000 crores in his company balance sheet Finally, in the year 2008, December, he himself disclosed this manipulation of 4,000 crores. Uh, astonishingly, shockingly, these 4,000 crores are audited statements. Audited statements. He has uh, disclosed in front of uh, media that he has uh, uh, manipulated 4,000 crores openly. F finally, he is behind bars. Till now, he is behind bars. Anyhow. So, no company will mis misrepresent our misstatements in the prospectus. So, these are the uh, contents involved in prospectus. These are the contents involved in prospectus. This is all about uh, part 1. We understood uh, the meaning of prospectus. Uh, contents involved in prospectus which is classified into two parts in schedule 2. In the first part, uh, all these... Uh, uh, general uh, matters to be specified are discussed and in the part 2 of schedule 2 all the uh, reports which are enclosed along with the prospectors are discussed this is all about uh, today's session uh, part 1 of question and answer session do like and comment in the section i will be very happy to see your response of my videos uh, 
uh, till if you have not satisfied if you have uh, some doubts relating to this video you can uh, contact me personally i will uh, uh, clarify all your doubts i'll be very happy to uh, uh, solve your doubts uh, give me a response please do subscribe to my youtube channel and share it like it thank you bye bye